together, let us say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now we continue with our prayers. Remember in our prayers this week, all those suffering from the effects of global warming, whether it's early hurricanes, tremendous storms, droughts, floods, or wildfires. I particularly think this week of our neighbours in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada and Cariacou. Remember in our prayers this week all those who need peace in their lives and all those who are working to bring peace into the lives of others. Remember in our prayers this week all those who feel sick, all those who feel tired, and all those who feel sick and tired. Remember in our prayers this week all those who refuse to turn away and all those who need to turn away. Remember in our prayers this week all those who need to take a deep breath and all those who keep breathing deep. Remember in our prayers this week all those who are tending to their own needs and all those who are tending to the needs of others. Remember in our prayers this week all those who feel broken, all those who feel beyond repair, and all those who heal the broken and make the repairs. Remember in our prayers this week all those who are mourning, all those who feel numb, and all those who feel raw. Remember in our prayers this week all those who have suffered from violence or trauma, and all those who have witnessed violence and trauma. Remember in our prayers this week, all those who know deep down that they are good and beautiful and sacred and beloved and worthy and believed and are capable of being healed. And we remember in our prayers this week all those who remind others that deep down they are good and beautiful and sacred and beloved and worthy and believed and are capable of being healed. We also remember in our prayers this week all those who visited the church in the last week and we lift up their prayers to you. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. Lord, we lift up these silent prayers to you. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. 
We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you.